Hello, and this is Nu Nui Sinjano Ayuba. Today on Interaction on Facebook, we will talk about ferias, or better still, holidays in Brazil. The term ferias is a Portuguese term for holiday. In English, we have just one term to describe holiday. So in Portuguese, you have three terms that are used to describe holiday in Brazil. So the first term is Ferias. The second is feriado and the third is somehow, you know, a subdivision of the feriado which is Ponto Facultativo. The first ferias, uh, I'll try to explain, you know, ferias is uh, a period of time where you go on vacation. It could last for weeks or even a month. University students, for instance, they go on holidays at the end of the semester or at the end of the year. While feriado is just uh, a day or two you take off, maybe the Independence Day, for instance, you have just one day to celebrate it, so uh, that's feriado. Ponto facultativo, it's optional. Some sectors may, may function, some may not function. In Brazil, the first holiday of the year is the 1st of January. Although this day is not celebrated in all the countries. You have countries like China, Korea, Iraq. You know, uh, so many countries that don't celebrate 1st of January. But in Brazil, it is celebrated, right? The second holiday is the carnival. I wouldn't talk about carnival in this video, but it's one of the largest festivals in the world. It usually happens in February, but sometimes it could happen in March. So what is interesting about carnival is that it falls on a Tuesday so that the next would be Ash Wednesday. Counting 47 days from Ash Wednesday, we have the Easter. But sadly, three consecutive carnivals have been cancelled since the inception of the new coronavirus in 2019. The next is a Women's Day. 8 of March is not considered as holiday, so it's called Ponto Facultativo. 19th of April is considered as the Indigenous People's Day. It's Ponto Facultativo. Well, on the 21st of April, you have Feriado to celebrate Chiradentes. Chiradentes is a very popular and uh, someone who is important in the history of Brazil called Joaquim José da Silva Xavier. His history is very interesting. According to Brazilian history, he was a political activist who fought against Portuguese dominion in a state called Minas Gerais. On the 21st of April 1792, Xavier or Chiradentes, as he is popularly known, was killed by the Portuguese crown. You know, I think he was politically active and they had to eliminate such kind of person in order not to influence the people. Therefore, 21st of April is considered as a national holiday in Brazil. The 22nd of April is Ponto Facultativo. It's in memory of the discovery of Brazil. The Portuguese first landed in Brazil in the 1500. The 1st and the 8th of May, Walker's Day and Mother's Day are celebrated respectively. On the 16th of June, you have Corpus Christi, which is celebrated by the Catholics. Brazil is predominantly Catholic. In most of the large cities, it's Ponto Facultativo. On the 24th of June, you have uh, what we call Festa Juninas. It's a very large festival. It's also a Ponto Facultativo. It's a period that uh, you have cultural dances, foods, typical games are played. Every second Sunday of August, Father's Day is celebrated. This day is not considered as a public holiday here in Brazil. It is considered as Ponto Facultativo. While in other places, uh, Children's Day is celebrated in other dates. For instance, in Nigeria, it is celebrated on the 1st of October. In Brazil, Children's Day is celebrated on the 12th of October. It is not a national holiday. Well, on the same day, that's the 12th of October, Nossa Senhora Aparecida is also celebrated. Since it is a national holiday, you end up celebrating the Children's Day and the Nossa Senhora Aparecida. According to history, in 1717, there were fishermen who were fishing in the southern part of the river of Paraíba. If you don't know, Paraíba is a state here in Brazil. So while they were fishing,
started believing that it must have been miracle and from that time they baptized the sculpture with Nossa Senhora Aparecida. When you translate that that's Our Lady. Today you have the sculpture in the Catholic churches and it's one of the major saints that you have here in Brazil. 15 of October you have the Teachers Day. Teachers are celebrated every 15th of October here in Brazil although it's Ponto Faculta Chivo. Public workers are celebrated on the 28th of October. 31st of October, you have Giada's Bruxas. Alright, that's the Halloween. Halloween is also celebrated in Brazil. Halloween is Ponto Faculta Chivo. Well, on the 2nd of November, Day of the Dead is celebrated here in Brazil. It's a public holiday. It's taken seriously here in Brazil. People visit the cemeteries, drop flowers, keep remembrance of the people who have died. That's the loved ones. On the 15th of November, 1889, Brazil became a republic. They call it Proclamação da República. So on the 15th of uh, November every year, it's a national holiday. All sectors are shut down so that people can observe this day. Well, on the 19th of November, the flag is celebrated here in Brazil. In Portuguese, they call it Dia da Bandeira. On the 20th of November, Black Awareness Day is celebrated. It's called Dia da Consciência Negra. Here in Brazil, you have an expressive number of black people. Black Consciousness, actually, or Black Awareness Day. So the last but not the least is the Christmas. Here in Brazil, Christmas starts on the 24th and uh, I can really say that their Christmas is on the 24th. On the 25th, you have uh, empty streets. It's really boring on the 25th. So you eat, you dance and uh, you do lots of things on the 24th. These two days are Feriado Nacional. That's their uh, holidays, okay? So this is all I have for you for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have questions, if you want to know more about one of these days, you know, that I mentioned, you can put it in the commentary section and let's learn together. So see you next time.